Hey folks, so yeah, I'm back on YouTube and it's because of this laptop. I walked into a Best Buy a few months back and I saw this thing, cracked it open, I'm like, hey, it's a Lenovo Legion, I know those. And, but it's white, that's bizarre, and it's beautiful, what's going on? And then you know, I started playing with it and I realized that, oh, this is different. This is way different from the Pro Series. So this used to be called the Slim Series. It's now just called the Lenovo Legion 7i Gen 9. It's a 16 inch gaming laptop that could be configured with a 4060 for $1,700 or a 4070 for $2,000. And that 4070 on the Lenovo website, it's rated for 130 watts. But uh, according to NVIDIA control panel, this can boost up to 140. So I'm not sure which is correct. And I'm sure there is some kind of thing I can do to monitor the GPU and all that fun stuff. But uh, I'm very happy with the performance. So I've been using a Legion Pro that looks really similar, but this thing, it's a tank. It's I think six pounds, uh, whereas this other one here is under four pounds. It, so it's thicker, it's heavier, and it has the same 4070. So for, you know, for less weight, you can get the same performance. I really have noticed no difference with Black Myth Wukong or with uh, Warhammer Space Marine 2. Those are the two games I did a side-by-side -side on, you know, side-by-side. -side. But um, I compared them. That part is true. <laughs> they just weren't exactly side-by-side -side or running simultaneously. But, you know, with the same settings, which, yes, with DLSS on, I was getting 55 to 60 on Black Myth and 50 to 60 on Space Marine 2. So, and Space Marine 2 is new, by the way, so I'm sure they'll get better with driver updates and whatnot. But... I was very impressed to, to see how this compares to the thicker version that I have. And on top of that, you get a higher build quality. So the materials here are aluminum and it looks really pretty. The track, pla track pad is glass, unlike the plastic one on the Pro. There's a fingerprint reader here on the power button, which the Pro doesn't have. And uh, I just think that this white color, especially with you know these RGB lit, you know, different patterns and stuff on the keyboard. It looks really great. I do kind of wish that it, I've said for years that I think a number pad makes a ton of sense on a 16 inch, but considering how pretty this is, I think it would look even prettier if the trackpad were centered. It doesn't need to be bigger and the arrow keys were moved up, kind of center everything here, put some forward or front firing speakers. That would be really awesome. But you know, this is what you get. And I'm kind of being hypocritical because as someone who does use Excel, it's nice to have dedicated number pad. So I guess you can't have it both ways right now, but we'll see what happens in the future. One regret on this, by the way, before I close the lid, this is an IPS display. It looks fine. It's super sharp, 2560 by something, 1640, something like that. It looks really sharp, but I do, and it's bright, but I wish it were an OLED. Okay, once you go OLED, it's kind of hard to go back. Okay, so the tour. I think this is beautiful. I've said that a couple of times. I'm gonna keep saying it. I love this white. I love the Legion branding. I, I'm the kind of guy though, I like gamery looking laptops. I like that big Y logo that Lenovo used to put on their Pro Series. And um, yeah, I think it all looks really good. I love that the the display is for, it's a little bit up front here so you can see the labels on the ports from overhead but also it brings the display closer to you as a user. And I love this brushed aluminum that they've put in here that just wraps around the entire laptop. So you have the white with a really nice design language with this accent of aluminum all the way around. It makes for something man, really, really pretty. I know there are other white laptops out there. There aren't many. There are some out there, but nothing that quite captures what I think is a great gaming aesthetic, like this does. And to top it off, you get a good selection of ports, good performance, and pretty decent battery life considering the specs. We'll get to that in a moment. So you get your USB-A, you guys can see what this is. Do I have to call it out? All right. Well, I'll call out this one thing for sure. That's a Thunderbolt port, but, 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 I could not get the full power of the GPU. So it limited my monitor to 100 hertz. And I think that's because the Thunderbolt doesn't support HDMI 2.1 output for the discrete GPU. So more on that in a minute. Uh, like I said, the aluminum goes all the way around. You still maintain that really nice lip here for Lenovo, but 
this cl uh, class, the way it closes, I think there might be a bit of a magnet in here because it closes more securely and it doesn't wobble like on the Pro Series. The back here is all white as well, including the feet. And then on the other side, we have some more I.O., including a full-size SD card, a camera shutter, which I'm a big fan of. And lastly, there's a little hidden port here, HDMI, which does support 2.1. You can get the full power of your GPU to your monitor on that one. And then your proprietary power for Lenovo. There's just little things here, like the way the grill is accented. I think this is a nice, powerful you know, video game look. I love the way they've cut the, the yeah, they shaped this here. I think it all looks really great. So yeah, I love the design. Now the battery life. So if you cut the refresh rate to 60 Hertz and there's a shortcut for that, it's function R and you drop it down to quiet mode, which is function Q with a blue icon around the fingerprint reader slash power port, power, power plug rather. If you do those things, drop your brightness down, you'll get five hours for sure, maybe six, if the type of work you're doing is mostly productivity. Uh, what I was doing was I'd have YouTube sometimes or sometimes Spotify and I was working and I feel like I was getting around five. I say feel like because I didn't, I didn't have a timer running. This isn't a scientific type review. There are plenty of great YouTubers that do that. It's more of a lifestyle review. It's much easier than what those guys do. Anyhow, let me show you what this looks like next to the Legion 7i Pro. This is the Gen 8, which is the same body as the Gen 9. And you can tell it looks really similar, right? The badging's the same, the design language is the same, the hinge is different, you know, granted. The sides are different as well. So on the 7i Pro on top, you have exhaust on both this side and the other side, whereas the 7i does not have any side exhaust. It's all rear exhaust, which I think is really cool. This is also thicker, it's heavier. It's like, it's so much heavier that I kind of feel bad putting it on top of that one. But anyhow, very similar bodies, but performance between the two is the same. This uses a 4070 with 140 watts, and then that other Legion is also a 4070. Um, same thing, 140 watts according to NVIDIA control panel, but 130 according to Lenovo's website. Same language here on the keyboard deck with the smaller trackpad than other gaming laptops, the full number pad, the drop keys. More travel on these. I, I actually prefer this keyboard technically. It's a little more clicky, but I, I'd be more than happy if someone like hit me over the head and swapped these out, I would be more than happy to be using this one instead. So this does have to go back to Lenovo. It's a loan. I'm happy to be back on YouTube. And thanks to Lenovo for sending this out. So I, I have a written article. It's on the gww.com, link in the description. Check that out. You get a little more detail around why I feel the way that I do. I just think that when it comes to balance between gaming performance and battery life, if you want one laptop, this is the one to consider versus all the others. $2,000 for the 4070, 1700 for the 4060. You might feel like that's asking a lot for a 4070. You're paying a little extra for the premium build and the design and probably the uniqueness. But also keep in mind, this does use a full HX processor. That's a distinction between other thin and light gaming laptops. Also, Lenovo runs sales. Every holiday, there's a sale. In between the holidays, there's the there are these, what I perceive as irregular sales, and you can get a really good deal on this. In fact, I would be, I, I'm willing to bet that you can get, pick this up for 1650 with the 4070 around Black Friday. It might be hard to do, but anyhow, even at 10% off to $1,800, this is a good pickup. You're gonna be very happy with this. Lenovo has a great reputation, big, strong community, good, and like I mentioned before, like the build quality is awesome, the performance is very good. 50 to 60 frames per second on Space Marine 2, 55 to 60 on Black Myth Wukong, performs the same as this giant laptop underneath it with the same GPU. This is an awesome laptop. This is, this is my favorite laptop right now for sure. All right, I hope you found this helpful. Read the article too, please, and catch you on the next one. Cheers.